K Videos presents Zombie Attack Pack. I found an old softball bat that got upgraded years ago. This will be perfect for the zombie attack bat. Using a sharpie, I marked a 7 inch line in the sweet spot of the bat, locked it down tight in a vise, grabbed a pair of safety glasses, and fired up my skill saw with a metal cutting blade. I cut a groove through the bat, and flipped it over, and finished making the cut. Then I drilled a large hole in the bat, starting with a smaller bit. A 20 tooth carbide blade will be the brain slasher. I inserted the blade through the bat and centered it up. Then using a large bolt, lock washer, and nut, I secured the blade and made it good and tight. Now it's time to drill some smaller holes on the end of the bat. I made the bat ooze with anticipation. Just in case our carbide blade misses the mark, four galvanized steel screws will do the brain penetration. Those were screwed in tight. You'll never know what you need during a zombie apocalypse, so we're going to add storage to our zombie attack bat. Using our saw, we'll cut off the knob of the bat. Now we'll remove the old softball grip and steel brush the entire handle. Our storage is ready, where we can add some Strike Anywhere matches. A few pain pills for the battle ahead. A few backup 38 special bullets. I'll need to light up the dark, so I'm going to add my trusty Streamlight flashlight. And to get other possible goods and services, a million dollar bill, folded up carefully and placed in the handle. To close it all up, I took the original knob and steel brushed it, added a screw, a rubber plug with a couple of nuts, and my zombie attack bat is not only waterproof, but bloodproof. I painted the body of the bat flat black and added some camo tape as a grip. The zombie attack bat is finished and ready to battle the walking dead. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.